Kunrei Shiki Romaji Shuen Ling Shi Ro Ma Zi is a cabinet-ordered romanization system to transcribe the Japanese language into the Latin alphabet. It is abbreviated as Kunrei Shiki. Its name is rendered Kunreiziki using Kunrei Shiki itself. Kunrei Shiki is sometimes known as the Monbusho system in English because it is taught in the Monbusho approved elementary school curriculum. The ISO has standardized Kunrei Shiki, under ISO 3602. Kunrei Shiki is based on the older Nihon Shiki romanization, which was modified for modern standard Japanese. For example, the word kanadzukai, romanized kanadzukai in Nihon Shiki, is pronounced kanadzukai in standard modern Japanese and is romanized as such in Kunrei Shiki. Kunrei Shiki competes with the older Hepburn romanization system, which was promoted by the authorities during the Allied occupation of Japan, after World War II. Topic. History Before World War II, there was a political conflict between supporters of Hepburn Romanization and supporters of the Nihon Shiki Romanization. In 1930, a board of inquiry, under the aegis of the Minister of Education, was established to determine the proper Romanization system. The Japanese government, by cabinet order Shuen Ling Kunrei, announced on September 21, 1937 that a modified form of Nihon Shiki would be officially adopted as Kunrei Shiki. The form at the time differs slightly from the modern form. Originally, the system was called the Kokute, Guo Ding government authorized system. The Japanese government gradually introduced Kunrei Shiki, which appeared in secondary education, on railway station signboards, on nautical charts, and on the 1 to 1 million scale international map of the world. While the central government had strong control, from 1937 to 1945, the Japanese government used Kunrei Shiki in its tourist brochures. In Japan, some use of Nihon Shiki and modified Hepburn remained, however, because some individuals supported the use of those systems. J. Marshall Unger, the author of Literacy and Script Reform in Occupation Japan, reading between the lines, said that the Hepburn supporters, understandably, believed that the Kunrei Shiki compromise was not fair because of the presence of the un English looking spellings that the modified Hepburn supporters had opposed. Andrew Horvitt, the author of Japanese Beyond Words, How to Walk and Talk Like a Native Speaker, argued that, "...by forcing non-native speakers of Japanese with no intentions of learning the language to abide by a system intended for those who have some command of Japanese, the government gave the impression of intolerant language management that would have dire consequences later on." After the Japanese government was defeated in 1945, General Douglas MacArthur, the supreme commander for the Allied powers issued a directive, dated September 3, 1945, that stated that modified Hepburn was the method to transcribe Japanese names. Some editorials printed in Japanese newspapers advocated for using only Hepburn. Supporters of Hepburn denounced pro-Kunrei Shiki and pro-Nihon Shiki advocates to the SCAP offices by accusing them of being inactive militarists and of collaborating with militarists. Unger said that the nature of Kunrei Shiki led to pent-up anger by Hepburn supporters. During the post-war period, several educators and scholars tried to introduce romanized letters as a teaching device and possibility later replacing kanji. However, Kunrei Shiki had associations with Japanese militarism, and the U.S. occupation was reluctant to promote it. On December 9, 1954, the Japanese government reconfirmed Kunrei Shiki as its official system but with slight modifications. Eleanor Jordan, an American linguist, made textbooks with a modified version of Kunrei Shiki, which were used in the 1960s in courses given to U.S. diplomats. The use of her books did not change the U.S. government's hesitation to use Kunrei Shiki. As of 1974, according to the Geographical Survey Institute, now the Geospatial Information Authority of Japan, Kunrei Shiki was used for topographical maps, and modified Hepburn was used for geological maps and aeronautical charts. As of 1978, the National Diet Library used Kunrei Shiki. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the Ministry of International Trade and Industry, and many other official organizations instead used Hepburn, as did the Japan Times, the JTB Corporation, and many other private organizations. <laughs> Legal status The system was originally promulgated as Japanese Cabinet Order No. 3 as of September 21, 1937. 
Since it had been overturned by the SCAP during the occupation of Japan, the Japanese government repealed it and decreed again, as Japanese Cabinet Order No. 1 is of December 29, 1954. It mandated the use of kunrei shiki in the written expression of Japanese generally. Specific alternative spellings could be used in international relations and to follow established precedent. See permitted exceptions for details. 1. Kunrei Shiki has been recognized, along with Nihon Shiki, in ISO 3602-1989. Documentation — Romanization of Japanese script by the ISO. It was also recommended by the ANSI after it withdrew its own standard, ANSI Z39.11-1972 American National Standard System for the Romanization of Japanese modified Hepburn, in 1994. Usage Despite its official recognition, Japanese commonly choose between Nihon Shiki, Kunrei Shiki and Hepburn for any given situation. However, the Japanese government generally uses Hepburn, especially for passports, road signage, and train signage. Otherwise, most Western publications and all English language newspapers use some form of Hepburn. Because Kunrei Shiki is based on Japanese phonology, it can cause non native speakers to pronounce words incorrectly. John Hines, the author of Japanese Descriptive Grammar, describes that as a major disadvantage. Additional complications appear with newer kana combinations such as team you kaimu team. In Hepburn, they would be distinguished as different sounds and represented as timu and chimu respectively. That gives better indications of the English pronunciations. For some Japanese speakers, however, the sounds t, t and kai, kai are the same phoneme, both are represented in kunrei shiki as timu. Such complications may be confusing to those who do not know Japanese phonology well. Today, the main users of kunrei shiki are native speakers of Japanese, especially within Japan, and linguists studying Japanese. The main advantage of kunrei shiki is that it is better able to illustrate Japanese grammar, as Hepburn preserves the irregularity of certain conjugations see table, right. The most serious problem of Hepburn in this context is that it may change the stem of a verb, which is not reflected in the underlying morphology of the language. One notable introductory textbook for English speakers, Eleanor Jordan's Japanese, The Spoken Language, uses her JSL romanization, a system strongly influenced by Kunrei Shiki in its adherence to Japanese phonology, but it is adapted to teaching proper pronunciation of Japanese phonemes. Kunrei Shiki spellings of kana Topic. Notes Characters in red are obsolete in modern Japanese. When he, he is used as a particle, it is written as e, not he as in Nihon Shiki. When ha, ha is used as a particle, it is written as wa, not ha. Wo, wo, wo is used only as a particle, written o. Long vowels are indicated by a circumflex accent, long o is written o. Vowels that are separated by a morpheme boundary are not considered to be a long vowel. For example, omu cu is written omu, not omo. Syllabic n, n is written as in before vowels and y but as n before consonants and at the end of a word. Geminate consonants are always marked by doubling the consonant following the sokuan. The first letter in a sentence and all proper nouns are capitalized. ISO 3602 has the strict form, see Nihon Shiki. Topic permitted exceptions The Cabinet Order makes an exception to the above chart, in international relations and situations for which prior precedent would make a sudden reform difficult, the spelling given by chart the 2nd of May also be used, the exceptional clause is not to be confused with other systems of romanization such as Hepburn and does not specifically relax other requirements, such as marking long vowels. Topic see also List of ISO transliterations Topic Sources Geographical Survey Institute Kokudo Chirian. Bulletin of the Geographical Survey Institute, Volumes 20-23, 1974. Gottlieb, Nanette. The Romaji Movement in Japan, Journal of the Royal Asiatic Society, 3rd Series. January 2010. Volume 20, Issue 1. p. 75-88. Published online on November 30, 2009. Available at Cambridge Journals.
doi doi 10.1017/s1356186309990320 Hadamitsky, Wolfgang Kanji and Kana revised edition Hanzi Tuttle Publishing 1997 ISBN 0-8048-2077-5-9780804820776 Horvat, Andrew Japanese Beyond Words, How to Walk and Talk Like a Native Speaker. Stone Bridge Press, 2000. ISBN 1-88065642-6-9781880656426426. Hines, John. Japanese, Descriptive Grammar. Taylor and Francis Group, 1986. ISBN 0 415 01033 0 9780415010337. Kent, Allen, Harold Lancor, and J. Elwood Daly. Executive Editors. Encyclopedia of Library and Information Science, Vol. 21. CRC Press, April 1, 1978. ISBN 0 8247 2021 0 9780824720216. Unger, J. Marshall. Literacy and Script Reform in Occupation Japan, Reading Between the Lines, Reading Between the Lines. Oxford University Press. July 8, 1996. ISBN 0 19 535638 1 9780195356380. Ro Ma Zi Natsujori Fang. Wen Bu K Ze Sheng in Japanese. Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science and Technology. Retrieved 21 May 2013. Topic references Topic External links Horvat, Andrew. The Romaji Rumaji Conundrum, Archive excerpt from Horvitz's book, Japanese Beyond Words, How to Walk and Talk Like a Native Speaker. Hosted at the David C. Chai Lam Center for International Communication of Simon Fraser University.